Okay, folks. Hello and welcome to a little podcast about Mr. Stuart Hall and his audience theory. Right. Firstly, this is a picture of Mr. Stuart Hall. Uh, He was a professor at a university in the lovely city of Birmingham. Um, He came up with this theory in the 1970s, uh, which should remind you of big afros and platform shoes. So you may ask, what was his theory? It's called the encoding and decoding model. And here's a quick definition for you of the word encoding and decoding. So encoding is when you convert a message into a code. In this instance, a media producer turning a TV program into a message for the audience. And decoding is when Hall argued that an audience, in this case a TV audience, extracts a meaning from a TV program. So just to recap there, TV producer encodes a program with a preferred or intended meaning, and the audience then decodes that message. Okay, let's apply Hall's model to a case that happened recently, um, and this one involved the Queen. Um, Basically, a company called RDF was responsible for making a documentary about the Queen on behalf of the BBC. In the trailer that RDF cut together, the Queen is seen coming storming out in a big huff. Um, and basically she's got in a mood, um, or they're implying she's got in a mood, um, about someone taking a photograph of her. So, what were RDF and thus the BBC um, trying to do? So, it appears that the preferred reading that the producers wanted was to cause a reaction in the public of shock. So, we would all be shocked to see the Queen storming off. We only normally see her on nice little days out, and also knighting people. So why would the producers want to do this? Well, it appears that they were possibly doing this for ratings, maybe to sell it on to another show in another country, or to make it appeal to a wider audience. So what about the audience then? Well, Hall goes on to argue that audiences decode media texts in three ways. There's a dominant or preferred reading, for example, when a viewer recognises the message and, and agrees with it. There's an oppositional reading, where dominant reading is recognised, um, but the audience rejects it. It's not interested. And then there's a negotiated reading, which is where the viewer brings their own ideas or thoughts into decoding the message. So to recap, Hall's audience theory is called encoding and decoding model. A producer of a media text encodes a message with a preferred or dominant reading, and then the audience decodes that message according to whether they agree with the text, which is a dominant reading, whether they disagree with the text, which is oppositional, or whether they bring their own opinion to it, which is negotiated. Okay, so let's try applying this theory to our own text. 